Hi there, and welcome to the Ready, Check, Go testing program for K-12 schools. In this instructional video, we will walk you through how to set up a testing station at your school, how students and staff members can provide samples for testing, and how to prepare samples for shipment to the laboratory. Before they can participate in testing, participants must register on the Color website. The testing station is where participants go to pick up a swab, swab their nose to provide a sample, and place the swab in the tube. Setting up a testing station will only take a few minutes and should be done before participants arrive. The testing station should be set up in a place where the testing administrator can easily see the participant in order to ensure they are swabbing correctly. The number and location of testing stations for your collection site will depend on how many participants you are testing and how they gather. Before setting up the station, be sure to wipe down the table with a cleaning solution. Each testing station should have the following items you see on your screen. The testing station should be on a flat surface and set up so that participants can easily reach everything including placing their swab in the tube without removing it from the holder. In addition to the testing station, the testing administrator will also need a Wi-Fi connected device, such as a computer or tablet, to access their color account and check in participants for testing. In-person coronavirus testing may seem complicated but it's actually a quick and easy process that participants and administrators can perform simply. Once your testing station is set up, participants can begin the testing process. The testing administrator will be responsible for calling participants up to the testing station, checking them in using color, and ensuring they're following the instructions correctly. Start by entering the barcode number printed on the tube. Next, look up a participant's name and call them up to provide their sample. When students are called up, they should leave their coat, bag, and other loose items at their desk. Sanitize hands. Pick up one swab. Open up the package handle side first by peeling the two layers apart from each other. Take the swab out, careful not to touch the cotton tip. When ready, Participants should lower their face mask below their nose and insert the cotton tip of the swab no more than three quarters of an inch into the nostril. Participants swirl the tip around the inside of each nostril at least four times for about 15 seconds. Once participants have collected their samples, they can put the swab in the open tube in the tube holder, cotton tip facing down. There may be other swabs in the tube. Be careful to not tip the tube over. Discard the packaging in the waste bin. Sanitize hands again. Pull up mask to cover the nose and mouth. Participants can then return to their desk. When the first pool is complete, finalize it in color. Screw the cap back onto the tube tightly. Put the tube into the small biohazard bag with the absorbent pad. Continue this process until you have collected all samples. Once all samples have been collected, the administrator should place all the small biohazard bags with tubes into the large sample collection envelope and set aside. Each day, all the samples collected should be packaged into the provided return shipping box. This box has a prepaid label, so all the school needs to do is schedule a pickup or drop off the box with the shipping company at the end of each testing day. 